Lovely set up turn from the Boston Showman. Another. Oh, yes. The double 16. This for two leg lead in the opening set for Williams. A great effort from Michael Van Gerwen. And he takes it, and Williams all of a sudden is throwing for the first set of this quarter-final, and it would be the first set that Michael's dropped in the tournament. And the closed doors championship of 2021. Chisler lost to Anderson, Anderson then lost to Price in the final. And Gary watched it on telly. Three times the champion in 14, 17 and 19. 2017 was as close to darting perfection as we've ever seen. But Van Gerwen demolished the field, just swept it aside. Fires in his second max. And there will be more opportunities on the outer ring for Michael Adarza, doubles in leg one and two. And there's going to be more here. Scott Williams, 79 scored. Well, asks the question, Michael has been missing. It's almost unthinkable he could miss his first seven at a double in the match, isn't it? Well, think the unthinkable. Michael Van Gerwen cannot buy a double early on in the piece. A clean sweep of set one here. And Scott Williams rattles through the first set, and that is the first set that Michael Van Gerwen has lost in the tournament. He is enjoying himself. And that is a brilliant opening set for Scott Williams. He leads Michael Van Gerwen by one set to nil. He likes to enjoy himself, but letting off a bit of aggression there, Scott Williams. Is it going to fire Van Gerwen into action? Needs to be more clinical, the back end of the legs, Michael. Won't be panicking yet. He knows this set's on throw. One. in time to the 30th of December 2012 when MVG had the nine dart leg against James Wade in the semi-final and then nearly had one in consecutive legs. Not today, Michael. Not yet. 95. It was Kai's classed as the easier ending to the nine dart combination because you can stay on the treble. Van Gerwen looking to lead in this set again. See how the doubling is now from the number two seed. That's more like it. Best leg of the match so far for Michael Van Gerwen. 11 data. From one leg away from levelling the match up at one set apiece. Smoking a bit now, Van Gerwen. And there is no smoke without fire. As Williams fires in a fifth maxi. This is the seventh leg of the match. Touche! Incredible. It's got to require 144. Ten maximums. Oh, I said Rob, we're playing the seventh leg. One this is for the set. Swansea. Mark will require 81. Perfect. Double 12 as he kills in 11 darts. Michael Van Gerwen levels up the match. Crisis, what crisis? Van Gerwen takes the second set. A slow starts this leg for Michael. He may be putting himself in a position to get an opportunity. Williams start, had this combination early and started on the treble 19. He found the first one, can't find it on this occasion. 50. And Gil has only had three three-figure outshots in the tournament up to press. He's not going to add to it. Not here, anyway. 81. But he is going to leave himself double 16 100. unless Williams can take this ton. Tops. Game shot of the done well there, Scott. The first start was a real flyer. Michael and it can sometimes just take you out of your rhythm. He just stayed on, on the double top, focused.
Mark who require 121. Well, 16 for a real drama of a finish. A 1 2 1 for MBG. And now, for the first time, this darts match arrives at a crossroads. In three, so he can go the ball first rather than last. There's no panic here, he's just got to compose and just tee up whatever he likes. He's 59 scored. 69! He's down to a single to double, that's OK. Van Gerwen is going to give him a little tap on the shoulder here. It's in the hands of Scott. To lead in sets again. 52. 52 points away from a 2-1 lead, double 16 away from a 2-1 lead. Double eight. Now, at the crossroads, Williams has been held up by the traffic lights because Van Gerwen now is looking at 68. And this is the kind of thing you would expect MBG to take out and let Williams know about it. But will he? Will he on tops? No, he won't, and he's wild with that attempt at double. Really wild. Yeah, he wasn't composed there. Michael's average in this set has been 15 points more than Scott Williams. Can Williams get over the line? He can. Five darts for a two sets to one lead, and he can't afford to miss these opportunities. Another chance for Michael to break and lead in sets. His last dart was so bad, he has to use one to get back to a double. Van Gerwen leads in the quarterfinal. Scott Williams has missed five darts there to go back in front in sets. In sets. Williams has had the biggie, hasn't he? The 170 against Hetter. Well, he wasn't going to go for it. What? He's gone away from his showboating ethos. It's the correct decision. And I like the 25 with the last start as well. It just brings it below that. We need to get a treble for a double or a double-double combination. It's just a single number to a double. It was a metamorphosis from Wayne Mardle to Mark Webster from Williams. And now... He ends up on double two, and he gets it anyway. Scott Williams, Michael Crawford. Wasn't his best year, still managed to get here. Really shown us all what he can do on the big stage in his run to this last day. Finds the treble first start, finds the single, leaves top. 64. Scott, you require 80. He won the opening set, 3-0. And Tops will allow him to level with a 3-0 set, 16. he can. Might require 40. Will Van Gerwen's unconvincing doubling continue? 20. Well, I've literally got no idea what's going on up there. Scott, you require 20. Awful set from Van Gerwen, average less than 78 in this set. You'd expect Scott Williams to wrap it up, and does, and Michael Van Gerwen has the lead in two sets to one, finding that key break. Maybe we thought he was just going to run away with it. Scott Williams had other ideas. Got two sets to one up, like we said, and played an awful set in the fourth. And it will encourage Scott Williams. And three treble 18s earlier now, three treble 19s. Of course, he's had the three treble 20s on seven occasions as well, so utilising all the big trebles to full effect, Scott Williams. Plenty of room there. Oh, look at this. 1 3 2. Margin he misses. We saw Van Gerwen margin he miss early on as well. 81. Double 12. 11 dark leg. Double 6. 75. Oh, wow, these doubling blunders Scotty are starting to mount up for Van Gerwen now. He's costing that leg for sure. The two sets that Scott's won, the engine were 3 0. Five darts win another set. And he's 2 0 up in this set. It could have actually been worse for Michael this. Well, nicking the third set. Has rather kept him Scott afloat in some ways, hasn't it? He could have been in real peril. Eighty-nine. Well, this set is going to disappear shortly as well, isn't it? 
as races wow. win in this set. Team trouble visit. Scott, you require 30 Let's not focus on what Bangu has done wrong. Scott Williams averaged over 113 in this set and closes out yet another set with a clean sweep. Williams went two sets to one down, has then won the next six legs. He leads in this quarter final. He's two sets away from a semi final. The 64, Scotty but six starts, not a big six. treble. For MVG. It's the wrong treble. Scott Williams take out the turn. Now uh, we're about to see Michael Van Gerwen do it. And that is more like it as far as he's concerned. Still no reaction from Michael. But a lot better after two below par sets. From leading 2 1 to trailing 3 2, he's now throwing for the sixth set. We've got 146. He did two of those for the double 16. 94. Scott, you require 85. Keep the set alive. Wonder only at bullseye. 39. For Michael. To rattle through this sixth set. Two darts. A double 16 if needed. Just James needs the one. And quickly, Michael. what he'll see is restoring Ooh. order. Levels up this match again. We're now at a best of three sets for a place in tomorrow's semi final. Will be confident he's going to get a couple of visits. Going to need a couple of visits. It wasn't the best setter. And Gears at a 1 2 1 on a turn. Needs this 1 3 9 to level. This is a tricky navigation around the board, and he can't succeed. 100 left. And again, it's another sloppy dart that creeps in. Scott, you require 88. Michael Van Gerwen, we mentioned his record in these quarterfinals. 74. Eight from nine. He lost that Michael one to Dave Chisnell. But the last dart of the last throw, Mark, really has made things awkward on this 95. Or could, could make it awkward. Game has right. made it awkward in the end. But he was looking to leave tops, he left 95, but in the end he cleaned it up in any regard. That wasn't a big reaction, that was a relieved reaction for Michael Van Gerwen. He knows he's labouring a bit in this match, and he's making heavy weather of it. Credit his opponent as well. Scott Williams has made him work, has made it awkward. Well, there are a maximum of three legs left in this it's not all on Michael Van Gerwen's terms. Well, that third dart leaves him on a double after a dozen darts thrown in this leg. And so, all things being equal, Williams will edge in front in this set. Six. Game shot on the third leg. And that is the lead Scott in this seventh set for Scott for Williams. He knows he's got to hold a throw. So he's got the darts in the deciding leg. Lincolnshire dartist. He's played at a similar level, similar level to most of the match. 57. And it's got him in Scott a position now. 161. If this 161 goes. He can start dreaming of a semi-final. Listen to the roar. He knows that Michael has been making a mess of these sort of opportunities. It could be a key moment in this match. And there we go again. And it's gone. The opportunity's gone. Williams has got darts to go one set away. Did not get a darted double. Off oh, that 76, and he's lost the set, Van Gerwen. Scott Williams on song here. And now he's dancing round the ring.
believing he can provide the knockout punch in the next few minutes. Scott Williams leads Michael Van Gogh with the three-time champion in the quarter-final. He's 4-3 up and one set away from the semis. Freeze and Dave Chisnell who will play in the next quarter-final. We'll be hoping that Scott Williams goes on and completes victory, and that's no disrespect to Scott. You'd rather play him in that semi-final than Michael. Look at this. Superb. That will not go, and Williams has got the chance here to really get a vice-like grip on this match. Scott requires. How far away was the last start from treble 19? 12 the ball. Slip oh. from Williams. That's the first real big mistake. But it's come with the air at its thinnest. As he knows he's three legs away from victory. The famous Williams eyebrow raise as the crowd get into full voice. Van Gogh in two dark combo needs it badly, needs it desperately, needs tops desperately, and he misses again. This is a leg on his darts, he started with a 180. Williams for the break. Oh, he was on the way. That one's close. Oh, what errors from Scott Williams, he's rarely done it in the match. But can Van Gerwen capitalise on those errors? There's no guarantee. Not the way he's throwing tonight. It's a match just riddled with errors from Michael. And more opportunities for Williams to break in a key time in the match. Splitting two for double four. Down for double two, and he's missed again. Scenes in the opening leg of this eighth set. Michael Van Gerwen, the three times world champion, a man who's had a nine dart on this stage, is reduced to scratching around on a double one to stay afloat. That's how desperate it's got. Scott Williams missed a bunch of chances there. Against the darts, he could have won the opening leg over to treble 13. Settle for that. Against the darts. One hundred. Scott, you require fifty-eight. For tops. Game shot. For a leg that puts him one leg away from winning this quarter final. From KOing Van Gerwen, from putting the favourite out of the tournament. And charging into the semis. 93. Looks off the treble look of the average in the set. Michael had a set early one where he averaged 77. The treble look of the average in the set. Michael had a set early one where he averaged 77. And he needed his best stuff in this set, and he still may produce it. Finds a match when he needs it most. Michael needs to break and then hold. And we go to a decider. And a maximum, and then followed up with something insipid, which rather sums up Van Gerwen's night tonight. And Williams is on the charge. Max number 12 for Scott Williams. And there's no answer from Michael, no treble. Williams said he could win, few believed him. You better believe it now, because Scott Williams is closing in. He's going to get some match darts. These may be Michael's last darts in the tournament. A real subdued performance. And he tries to rattle in a 180. But Scott Williams, it's in your hands for the... 
Huge scalp on the Ali Pali stage. Double 16. Good. And Scott Williams produces a shot off the sporting Richter scale to send the three time world champion Michael Van Gerwen tumbling out of the tournament. Scott far too hot for an out of source MBG. And Williams surges into the final four. Look at that snatch. Wow. Nearly smacked himself in the ear. 66. Sheesh. He's really good at finding the treble after. It wasn't his best visit, but he corrected it with the second treble that went into five. Don't know how he does it. Look at that. I would not recommend that. Just one of his idiosyncrasies. 83. There's another one there. Hasn't hampered. It's been a brilliant career of Dave Chisnell. All that's missing is that major win he's knocked on the door on a few occasions would be something if he did it here after being well below par on the big stage all year yeah, it's funny 60. how things happen that way for the first set double 12 that is the first set the first for Luke Humphries. Average well over a ton in it. Chizzy will need to pick it up or Humphries to drop. Yeah, it wasn't until the real back end mark of the Petretsko game that he actually started playing like he can. We know Petretsko went off the boil at 3 1 up, but Luke only found it kind of really late. And against Joe, he was, he was the Luke Humphries over the last three months. And the player that's been getting better and better 60. over the last four or five 64. years. Oh, bullseye for the 164. Yeah. Brilliant from Humphreys as we go to the signing leg in this second set. Already a key leg, particularly for this man, but he's got the advantage of throwing first to try and level up this quarter final and making a brilliant start. Get three maxes already. That's number four. From the man that a few years ago was the biggest 180 hitter in the sport. And quickly followed. What a deciding leg we've got incoming here. Decent. Oh. Just so slow on the back swing. Thrust every reach. He feels like he needs to propel himself. That's where the snatch comes in. The fluency goes, 92. the rhythm goes. Okay, this is for the set. Don't be thrilled with the setup of the back of 190. Uh, double five. To answer back the 164 of Luke Humphries. 130. This could get awkward for Dave, even if he comes back. 170. Oh my. For a millisecond, I thought that was in. Like Mark said, this could get awkward. How awkward? The big one's the easy part. Right. If it's a big two here, he's then got the problem of the one that's the barrier for the double one. But he still needs to attack double two for the set. Got to attack. That is a perfect start. Dave Chisnell levels things up of one set all in this, the last quarter final of this year's World Arch Championship. Again, another one of those that just hangs in. Throwing a lot of low darts on the treble 20, Dave Chisnell. That will dislike, well, no one likes it, but that will. Rile him for a Nine while. Doesn't suit neither of these, does it, Wayne, being below the bed? No, it doesn't. And not players who stack on top, so they'll we'll see him switch if they land below. He can work with that. Edging closer. One and there hundred. we are, picks off the turn. But you know yourself, Mark, a low dart feels awkward. It feels awful. Never up, never in, as they say. 140. Luke leaves himself 74 again. Expect to be a, a little bit more clinical with it this time because he drifted into the 11 in the previous leg and was only left a dart of ball. Yeah, he made sure there that he didn't go low. Tops. 
The 2 1 lead. 54. Chance now. They require 84. Big moment early in this quarter final. The Chizzy to lead for the first time. Double 12. 60. They were, yeah, they were a fair way away from Chisnell. The first one made the second awkward. No marker. Yeah, he doesn't muck around, does he? Cool, cool handle, Luke. Takes the lead in. It'll come. Whereas Luke just always looks a million dollars to make. Look how smooth that is. Makes you sick. <laughs> looks so easy. And it gives him the opportunity to set up a potential breaker throw. Uh, kudos, Dave Chisnell. Comes straight back at him. Like I said, he's having to work hard, but he's finding these moments, Dave, and he'll believe at some point he will find a passage of play when he's on point, so he can stay in touch. Yeah, good point. Stay in touch, then find your best and see where that takes you. And it's Luke Humphries. 57, Luke require 81. 81 for the third set. Single or treble 12, double 13. That is the set, that was superb. 180 in that leg to leave the 81, takes it out, a little 12 darts up. Dave's trying to G himself, but he's dropped throw in the, the sets where Luke's thrown first. So if he takes care of things on his own throw like he did in set two, he won't be panicking yet, Dave. He'll recognise that this is a, a big set early in the match. We know averages are just a guide. That's all they are. But his average has been climbing really since the... Wasn't a great third set, OK. But generally, it's been climbing since. Potential back-to-back -back 11 dart legs here. Saw Michael Van Gerwen do that early in his quarter-final. He ended up exiting the tournament with a huge shock, losing to Scott Williams. And that's who awaits the winner of this one. That's what the marker was for. It was easy to use a marker. You just see Dave made it look easy there. And in complete control of his fourth set. His eighth 180 there wasn't going to leave a finish. The layup's got to be good, though, from Luke. 60. Stayed there, weirdly. Obviously felt that he could get a dart in the 60, otherwise he'd have switched. But now, there's pressure on the 89. May just be ball here. There's double five for two apiece. Um, yet another set where it's Dave Chisnell throwing first. We go to the deciding leg. He was up to the task in set two. Set up. One hundred and thirty-nine. Luger Got to rely on this man missing for the set. Double two now. Twelve. Wow. Reprieve for Dave Chisel. 62. Humphreys set up the leg beautifully, shaking his head. Only got himself to blame. Tops. Huge. Massive. Gigantic Sweet. meaning. That was high and not very handsome. Still stuttering about here, Luke, but he gets there in the end, and that will be a tough set for Dave Chisnell to lose. He had opportunities to win it in the third and fifth leg, but it's Luke Humphries who picks his pocket. He leads by three sets to one, he's two sets. Wanted to fight the crowd at one point against Ricardo Petretzko. There's no need to get involved in the crowd in this match, because he's controlling it, Luke Humphries. Yeah, when they're on your side, that, that's when you get involved. When they're not on your side, just keep your head down. 
say nothing. You ever get the crowd involved? 62. Your side? No, not really. 68. <laughs> Very, very good. And he needed it, didn't he? That's Roger. She's his manager. What a pairing they are. Great couple to go out on a night with. It's on a GM, Dave. It's a set when he's going to have to find a break and he's going to win it. The, the good thing with Chizzy that he knows that when he does find these gears that we keep mentioning, that it does turn matches. It really does. He's that good. But unfortunately, he's dealing with someone at the moment that he's just not relenting. You mentioned a demolition job he did on Michael Van Gerwen in a quarter final in 2021. And it's around them sort of levels he may need to find to rattle off the lengths and sets he needs. But if he can hit a tenth max here, then 9 all at the moment, then the pressure will be on Luke to hit that 82 Whoa! for a hold of throw. Luke, you're going to 82. Incredible darts from Dave Chisnell. Are they going to count to anything? No, they're not on that. Running. Really hurt, it's in the air. The reaction what says it all from Dave Chisnell. A little the smile. River. But Humphreys slams the door shut in the third leg of this for a four set to one lead. Yeah, the first dart from Dave was dismal. Well, within the blink of an eye. 76. Darts come and gone. Dave require 40. And Dave returned the favour. He had set darts and fluffed his lines in the previous set. Humphreys just had some there to keep it going. And you can't afford 20. to miss those opportunities, Dave. More opportunities for Humphreys for a 4-1 lead. Well, he took his time. He hunted it down, he didn't get it. This feels like it's for a break of throw for Dave. It's not. It's for a holder throw, and Luke will have the darts in the last leg if it goes that far anyway. Dave has missed four for this leg already. Needs this and gets it and gets on the line in that leg. This is the huge leg now for Dave Chisnell. He's had set doubts already. He's on the hunt for more. And that gives him an opportunity, but Dave's still well in the leg. This is a key visit for Dave Chisnell. Last time he wanted this, and sure he had a 180 off it. The standard they're at now, utterly ridiculous. 11 or treble, double 14 for 4-1. Blue Cumphries is on the march Luke again. Humphrey. The man who just cannot stop winning. He's on a 16-match win streak as it is. And now he's 4-1 up against Dave Chisnell in a World Championship quarter-final. You mentioned... When he's played in quarterfinals at World Championship, he's averaged 107, 104, 96. He's averaging 98 here. He's played okay, but this man's had all the answers. Number 12 for Luke. 22 in the match. How many times have we said this? Another 11 data, possibly. Doesn't even need to be, he's having time. 58. It's okay, and we'll return. Dave Chisnell's just got a hit and hope. And Luke Humphreys has not offered him a lot of hope in this match. 140, Luke, you require 40. Yeah, it's not the strategy you want to employ, the old hit and yeah, hope, but unfortunately, leg, that's where Dave Chisnell finds himself. Leg, Luke Humphreys. Has been superb from the very, very get go. It's tomorrow, and if he plays like this the day after, it's likely Luke Humphreys 57. walks away with the Sid Bedell trophy. This has been emphatic. No 
to cap off a remarkable end to the year. 80. And a brilliant start to this year. Still work to do, because this man... 100. ...will battle to the very, very end. It appears a dire situation, and it is. But he hasn't lost yet. 105. Luke takes himself down to a finish. That could see him cap off a fine display. Good visit from Dave, though. He's not out of his set yet, but he's got a lot to do. Tops. Luke Humphries is into the semi final of the World Dutch Championship for the first time. In three previous quarter finals, he got beat, but not this time. Rob Cross will take on Luke Littler. Scott Williams will take on that man in your picture, Luke Humphreys, tomorrow in the semi finals of the World Dutch Championship. He has been the man for the last three months. He's been the man to beat. He's on a winning streak now of 17 matches. That was absolutely emphatic. Yeah, he set his stall out from the word go, Luke Humphreys, and Dave Chisnell battled. He got the Claude a set back, unfortunate not to win set four, but from then on in, there was only one winner, an average of 103 and a half for Luke Humphreys. Season set up that semi finals with Williams, and yeah, there we see the turn. He still missed a few darts at doubles, but Humphreys just had all the answers to defeat Dave Chisnell and to go into the semi finals of the World Championship for the first.